right guys, I have a really fun DIY today and I have a giveaway. Stay tuned if you wanna see how I made this. All right, you guys, this is one of those super cute little binders that the Dollar Tree carries. It is just a three ring tiny binder. I forget the dimensions and of course I took off the sticker so that was silly on my part, but you know, that's just how I do. So one of the mini binders, not one of the full size ones. This is one of the wall stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. My daughter actually has this in her bedroom. I thought that would be super cute to um, decorate this with. Of course, the whole picture is not gonna fit on there, so I'm just trying to map out where I want the unicorn to lay and I want to make sure I get the whole head and the whole horn of course but I'm not going to be able to get all the flowers down there so I'm just going to mark where I want to cut this and then I will get out my paper trimmer of course you don't have to have a paper trimmer you can use an exacto knife you can use a pair of scissors you can use whatever you want just something that cuts so now I cut out just the head. I didn't want to cut those flowers because I want to save those for other projects. And I'm just going to peel off the unicorn portion of it and place it on the binder. And let me tell you, this stuff sticks really well. Like it really, really sticks to the vinyl of the binder. So I'm not going to worry at all about it falling off. Now I just want to grab that same um, wall poster that I was using and I want to pick off some of these individual flowers to decorate the rest of the front of the binder with. I didn't like how that was fitting on so what I did is I just cut the side of one of the flowers to make it go to the edge and it turned out perfect actually. So now I really like it like this but I felt like it needed a little something extra which is why I went into my sticker stash and I got these gold letters and wrote the word plan on the bottom. Okay, I really like it now. I think it's complete. I didn't want to overdo the front of it, but I did want to give it um, just a little bit of something sparkly, so those gold letters were perfect. Now I added one of these little poof bowls that I got at the Dollar Tree to hang off the side because I love it when I have danglies hanging off the side of a journal, and I just wanted to see how it looked, but I'm going to go ahead and do my inserts now. So let me just tell you, this has been a week. <laughs> so these inserts are, I made them in Word document. Um, they're two different sizes. <laughs> um, quite frankly, if I were to do it again, of course I'd do it right, but they also have the holes covering some of the boxes. All right, y'all, it, it's just been a week. Technology has won with me this week. So my intention was to find the planner pages at the Dollar Tree. I went to four Dollar Trees, couldn't find any planner pages. So I thought, okay, forget it. I'm just gonna go to Kmart and buy, you know, a reasonable priced set of planner pages. They don't have them there. Okay, fine, I'll go to CVS and they'll probably be more expensive, but whatever. So I go to CVS. They don't have them there. Y'all, I'm flipping out. 
I have tried to print off probably 10, 15 free templates. Nothing is printing right. I have been having a heck of a time with my iPad. So, this is where we are, this is what we're doing. So, the two pages, one side is not the same size as the other side. Sorry about that, but I'm just going with it because I could not possibly deal with trying to print anything else. Everything that I've printed this week and everything that I've done on my iPad this week has turned to absolute crap. So, it has been one of those weeks. So I said, I'm just gonna go with this. This is what I'm doing. So what I did is I printed out on um, separate pages and I split the pages in half. And then all I did was I taped them together because of course I couldn't figure out how to do double-sided printing on my printer. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm literally lining up the front of one piece of calendar to the back of another piece of calendar. I have everything hole punched, that way I can line up the hole punches. And I'm doing 12 of these for 12 months and you can just hand write in dates or months. I'm gonna finish doing this last month here and then I'm going to take a stack of just plain white paper and I already punched holes in it appropriately and I'm gonna put that in after the months. So I wanted something to divide it but I didn't wanna get into making dividers and all that jazz. So what I did was I just decided to take a piece of really pretty scrapbook paper and I measured the pages are I want to say eight and a half by five. Yes, eight and a half by five. So I wanted to um, I wanted to have a divider that stuck out a little bit more than that five. So I made it eight and a half by six. That way um, the divider stuck out a little bit um, to divide up the months and the pages. So I thought it would be really fun for whoever gets this um, binder, to be able to plan with me in the upcoming year. That was my whole idea on doing this. Um, I really love doing my plan with me Mondays. I love being creative. And so I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to also be creative. Um, so I have plain paper. I want you to start from scratch like I do. Uh, maybe it's something that you'll enjoy. Maybe you'll find out how therapeutic it is. Maybe it'll be therapeutic for you. Um, but that's what I wanted. I just wanted to provide you guys with like a blank slate to start with. Or whoever gets this binder, of course, can go to Walmart or Target or wherever and buy an insert if that's what they prefer. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a blank slate to work with. So I'm just going to finish making this divider and I'll put everything together and show you what it looks like. I had created this little template for myself when I first started, so I made sure that all of my holes on all of my pages lined up. So that's what I'm gonna use um, to punch the holes in this divider. And as I was punching holes in the paper, I took two binder clips, put one on each side to make sure that I, my um, paper wasn't moving as I was punching the holes, and that way everything lined up properly. can't ever just leave anything plain so naturally I had to embellish my divider so I just had this random piece of pinkish paper and I thought well I'll put that on there and then uh, maybe add one of those flowers from the front cover just to tie everything together and I don't use a lot of double-sided tape um, just because I feel like this stuff really sticks so I don't feel like I have to overuse it
So now that that's done, I wanna show you all the stuff that I bought to go along with this. So this is just a cute little flamingo bag and I thought that would be perfect to hold accessories in. I bought a thing of sticky notes. This is 300 of the long thin sticky notes. Those are great for dividers, also great for page markers. I had to pick up some cute stickers. They're sparkly, you know, I love my sparkle. So I picked up some of those, some princess themed um, stickers. Didn't know if you wanted to do a princess layout. I also got you guys some washi tape. I tried to pick up real colorful stuff that you guys could do really pretty colorful layouts with some princess washi tape. A pad of multicolored um, stickies. They're just little post-it notes in a block. I love using those because then you're not permanently um, writing anything on your calendar if it's still up in the air. These pens, I love these pens. They come in all these four different colors and you can use one color per person. Or you can divide up and use one color for work, one color for play. These are some sparkly butterflies. I thought that would make a really pretty spring layout. I was trying to think of, of different layouts that you guys could do with these stickers. I think they're gonna be really cute. These are just, um, a thing of stickers. They're not called planner stickers, but I love these in my planner. I use these all the time in my planner. So I have a set of purple ones, I think, that I use a lot because they just, they go so well in there. I bought another, um, size sticky flags. Those are just a smaller size. I got you guys some correction tape. If you write something down and it's not something that's going to be permanent, you just erase it. I did find a two pack of these glue tapes. I told you the other day in my video that I couldn't find them. I found a two pack, so I picked them up for you guys. And then I also got these super cute cupcake stickers. So there's 12 of them. And when you get your calendar all set up the way that you want make sure that you go through and mark everybody's birthday and here's some birthday banners too thought it would be great to be able to mark birthdays when you first get your calendar oh there's some bird stickers i thought those were really pretty and bright too so i thought this would be really fun for you guys to get this and start planning with me in 2019 i really love it when you guys interact with me and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this i will be leaving this open until the 14th this giveaway and on the 14th at 8 pm i will use the youtube comment picker and i will pick one of you to send this to i hope that you get it before thanksgiving that way you can start your holiday season and your, your, your new year by planning and getting organized and writing things down. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to Chaotic Mom, hit the bell for notifications, and in order to be picked, you're gonna have to leave me a comment. And I want you to tell me what's one thing in 2019 that you hope to accomplish. That's all I wanna know. I want you to set a goal for yourself and let me know what that goal is. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that everyone gets a chance to comment down below for their chance to win. And again, I will pick a winner at 8 p.m. on Wednesday, November 14th, and I will post a video announcing the winner. All right, guys, good luck, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.